Hi everybody, it's Amalia, and I'm here today with a haul from the Scrapbook Expo. Uh, I was supposed to go on Friday and Saturday to the New Jersey Convention Center for the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo, and I was supposed to be helping, helping out a vendor there. Something came up uh, with mom, and so I had to take care of that on Friday, but I was able to go on Saturday, and uh, I went as an exhibitor because I was helping out Photo Scraps. Photo Scraps specializes in making custom paper and kits for your scrapbooking needs. Also, they have kits for card making, for journal making, album making, uh, and they have tons of paper for sale that is custom designed and made by Tracy Beck, who is the owner. And uh, here is her information, Tracy at photoscraps.net. Photoscrapsinc.com is her website. If you try and capture this, you can go directly to the website with a click. And uh, she does all kinds of custom papers. And people were lined up uh, getting their papers custom made. So say for example, you went to Disneyland or Legoland or you went to Turkey or Syria or you went somewhere and you want a page that has um, that says Syria or travel to Syria or the Smiths went to Syria. Um, you know, um, that type of thing. Uh, they'll do that. If you want some other type of uh, pattern on it, they'll do that for you. And uh, she charges the same price as she does for her regular uh, special made paper, which I think is crazy, a crazy good deal. And definitely check her out if you're a scrapbooker and you want some custom made paper just for you. Um, so I in, unintentionally left with this. I was done with my four hour shift and um, I just started walking around doing some shopping and uh, I tell you what, I had to spend four hours on my feet and that was not, that was not easy. Uh, you know, I, I, snake, I snuck a couple of sits just to stretch my back out and things like that, but I didn't sit for more than 30 seconds at a time, two or three times. And uh, that was tough. And my, ba my, my back was screaming by the end. And that's why I went and got one of these. So this is my massage pillow. If any of you have been to the uh, Scrapbook Expos lately, they have a vendor there that has can you hear that? That has a massage pillow. A whole bunch of people were there sitting. You could sit there for a while if you need to just to try the massage pillow. It works great. And I decided not only to get one, but I decided to get two. I got one for me and one for mom since she's been having some, some back issues lately. And she's gonna we're gonna take it to the doctor's appointment tomorrow to make sure the doctor's okay with use, her using this type of massage pillow. But this saved my saved my bacon on the drive home because I sat with this on my back, massaging my lower back, the full drive home. Uh, and it took quite a bit of time to get there. It took it only about an hour to get there on the way there because there was no traffic, but on the way home, there was plenty of traffic. And I had this going that whole time. And it just activates by you leaning into it or leaning on it or sitting on it. Just a little bit of pressure activates it. It has two speeds. It has a high speed and a low speed and it cycles through various types of massage. I have no idea, but all I know is that it relieved my aching back from standing for four hours. So if you wanna check them out, I, again, this saved me. I, uh, I didn't have any issues um, come after I was home and, and all that. Still tired from the day, but uh, it really saved me. And so, it, my massage pillow at gmail.com or my massage my massage pillow.com. And if you go to that website and use the code Brian, you can save 25% off. The show special was two for $80. That's uh, that's a lot of money for, for a pillow, but it's still a bargain if you think about what those massage chairs cost. So, 
uh, and it served me well. Again, it has served me well so far, and I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm using it right now, so it's massaging me as I speak. So the first, that was the second thing that I bought. <laughs> but the first booth I went to was the Be Creative booth because my friend, um, oh my God. Uh, of course I can't think, I wanna say Damaris, but it's not Damaris. My friend was working the booth. And I'm like, I'm like stuck, I have a brain fart, I can't think of what her name is and I feel terrible because because I remember it, I re would remember it on a, any normal day. <laughs> anyway, she has local crops and I go there to spend time with her and all the friends at the local crops. But at Be Creative, I bought some of these 3D foam squares. I had a package I think was a free gift or a gift with purchase from somewhere and I used them up and I like them because they're not as low profile as the Stampin' Up! ones. Again, my favorites, Stampin' Up! Dimensionals rule, but they're pretty good and they were a reasonable price. 126 pieces for these, uh, what are the size are these? I don't know. They're regular size <laughs> and they're uh, $3.49 each. And there was a thing that if you buy three, you get one free. I hope so because I bought four. So then they had this one that's a little bit smaller with 308 pieces and I got that. And they had ones that are even tinier, uh, like a quarter size of this and I wanted to get those, but I figured buy three, get one free was a good deal. I got one of these. Um, yeah, I, I probably have something like this already. This is a metal tip, an art glitter glue metal tip thing. And um, why did I get this? Is it gonna fit on anything? No, this is probably just for glitter glue. I do have, uh, I think, a bottle of art glitter glue somewhere. But anyway, it was $4.99 at the uh, Be Creative booth, but they had it at another booth, and I'll tell you which booth, for $3. <clears throat> so the moral of that story is shop. I paid uh, $15.46 over at Be Creative. Uh, the moral of that story is shop the floor and uh, you can get your best deals that way. But um, yeah, so then then I went to the my pillow booth and I bought some stuff there. And then uh, I went to another booth, but I want to tell you what I got at Tall Mouse. Tall Mouse is where they had these for three dollars. And they have a whole selection of goods. For, uh, uh, for things for three dollars and uh, uh, I got I got two nail files well why did you buy nail files there because because they had them they had other types of little things there like uh, pocket mirrors that are really pretty they had uh, plastic bags glitter plastic bags things like that um, and they were sh showing these as you know you can make you can distress your paper with this which is a wonderful idea uh, but they were two for a dollar and whether I distress my paper with them or I actually file my nails with them is a whole nother story uh, this is a great price for it's only one sided the other side is nice and decorated so uh, you know two for a dollar just for a regular nail file even is great so I bought those <laughs> uh, I got some dies and some magnets but I love the, the, the tools type of sections that they have and the knickknack type of section as well as the dies and everything else that they have. But this is a craft and glue scraper, which I think is, is awesome and right up my alley and exactly what I need. And I wanna take it out of here because I've been making a mess lately on my glass um, thing and uh, a lot of glue gets stuck to it. And I use a um, an X-Acto knife to scrape it off. I try to be gentle, but uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of scratches in my glass. So, so I got this and I am sure it's a razor blade because they sell these, you know, for construction people and painters to use as well. So now I gotta snap that back in. So safety first, the blade side was on the inside. And now I have to figure out how to twist this closed one-handed. Yeah, 
So anyway, this is a scraper basically just to scrape off of my, ooh, it's coming off. Scrape off the gunk off of my surfaces. And let me put that back in, and I'm gonna put that back in with the cutting blade on the inside so I don't cut myself because I know I will. Lefty loosey, tighty righty. Right? Okay, put the cover back on and look at that. It comes with a razor blade, it comes with the cover, so you can put the cover back on. Uh, let's see, what is this? I have a feeling this is something. Maybe it's not because it doesn't come out, but it's got, anyway, <laughs> it's exactly what I needed. And uh, for $3, you can't beat it, okay? Uh, I also bought this, I thought I paid more for this, but I didn't. It was $3, and it's just a, wa a mix and wash cup. So for watercolor. Now, I didn't have to buy this for $3, right? But, because I've got plenty of yogurt jars and regular jars to use, but I liked it. <laughs> and I wanted it, so I bought it. <laughs> so it's just one of those foldable cups. And it'd be great to take... Uh, with me anywhere to do some watercolor painting. So I bought it for $3, I said why not, and I bought it. And um, that's one of my faults or my problems. If I like it, if I see a good deal, I gotta have it. What else did I buy? And I bought some dyes. So this the special that they had for these particular style of dyes was, oh, hold on got some magnets too. I got some magnets. These were three dollars. So I hope they're good magnet magnets. It says that they're super strong magnets. There's not a, they're not as big as some of the magnets that I've seen like like the magnets that I've seen like on videos or are longer than this and wider than this but that's why I got two. So uh, these were three dollars each and um, it's for my stamping tool. And I wanted something flat like this. I think this will work really well, and I'm very happy about these. So thank you, Tall Mouse. Tall Mouse is one of my favorite booths. Uh, and um, let's see what else did I got. So these were three, uh, sorry, five dollars each. You buy five, you get one free. So uh, I bought this one is a, a palm tree. I was gonna say coconut tree, but it's a palm tree with coconuts. <laughs> Uh, these are frog dyes, which I thought were kind of cute. Uh, my sister-in-law likes frogs, so anytime I see something with frogs, I, I get it with the thought of making something for her, and I haven't made anything for her yet. <laughs> um, but I have plans to. Anyway, this is another dye. It's a sun... I, I don't know if it's a sun and a moon dye, but it's a sun at least, and maybe uh, a moon as well. We'll see when I um, when I cut it out. But I like the sun symbol, so I got that. These are uh, dozens, maybe two dozen. How many? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, twenty-two. 22 little individual dies, and they're just flowers. Five petal flowers, six petal flowers, various type of daisies and et ceteras. And um, I just thought that they would be cute. It's This is really the rate, one of the rages that I've seen at the show, especially at the Rubbernecker booth. Um, lots of cards with tiny little flowers that you, you know, um, you use like a ball tool to enhance or embellish. And so I got those to add to my stash. Uh, I got this. I don't know if this was a good idea, but I was getting really tired. My bag was really heavy. My back really hurt. <laughs> and so I got a flamingo and I got this. And this I like, this is uh, wooden planks and they're all separated. And I thought that was just kind of cool. So I got, I got those and uh, I did stop by really quickly at the Rubbernecker booth, but I didn't buy anything because I was really tired 
and um, I was just tired and you know I knew I was gonna make decisions <laughs> about buying stuff and I got a free bag also at the tall mouse um, booth for my purchases and I love this thing at the last one that I went to at uh, the Orlando show uh, I got a Star Wars one which was really cute okay so I also stopped by the photo play booth and um, I really like photo play I love their booth they have uh, really pretty cute stuff that I like and at the Orlando show I got dozens of not dozens but you know I got a lot of stencils there that I was really excited about that I thought were really good price and uh, they didn't have so many stencils this time there but they did have paper that I was really happy about so here's the paper that I got that I was really happy about uh, I got this paper this is colored cardstock this is called silver silver lupine or lupine silver lupine so it's it's like it's like a dark gray color and it's got polka dots all over it and they're 3d embossed uh, at the Orlando show uh, show I bought a light blue paper and a brown paper in the same style with the polka dot embossing on it and I have really enjoyed using those I got this dirty kind of yellow or a golden kind of yellow and I got this really bright um, orange or if you want to say it's a kind of red um, so I got those these were three dollars each and there's 24 sheets to a pack I don't I don't know how many sheets there are to a pack it's eight and a half by eleven this color is called cosmos okay this one is called Daffodil. You know what? I don't know how many uh, sheets there are in a pack, but there's a lot. And uh, <laughs> I like it, whatever. For $3, I, I'd i be happy. I'm happy with that. I also got this one. This is 8.5 by 11. This is an 18-sheet pack. And it's 80-pound smooth white premium cordide cardstock. Acid and lignin-free made in se i don't know where s what se stands for um anyway photo play premium cardstock so i'm gonna see how this works with uh, copic coloring and other techniques uh i did need some basic white cardstock um and uh so i wanted to try this out okay if i like it i don't know if i'll be able to Go to their website to buy more or or not uh, let's continue with the paper um they had a special for four what are these called these are um collection packs for uh collection packs for 24 dollars. let me see if you can see it yes so i got this one which was the honeybee and this i think honeybees are really going to be um Honeybees and gnomes are going to be a thing uh, for the next couple of months, I think, um, besides Christmas theme. And uh, these paper packs come with 12 sheets of 12 by 12 double-sided designs, cardstocks, and one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock stickers. So I think I love that coloring. It goes with the, some of the paper that I bought. Here's another one. This one is Bunnies in Bloom. This one is eight sheets of 12 by 12 double-sided designer cardstock, one sheet of stickers. So I thought that was pretty. I just, I like the coloring. I like the styling. How could you not love these bunnies? And those are the cardstock stickers. Awesome. And that'll be great for springtime I guess right I got a Christmas themed one this is 12 sheets of uh, double-sided paper one sheet of cardstock stickers this will go well if I want to make Christmas cards or do a scrapbook page okay so that was three right here's number four a year with my gnomies 24 double-sided designer cardstock papers so this is all cardstock, no stickers, but there's tons of cut-aparts. 
and um, they had a calendar, like a make your own, fill your own calendar in, but I didn't get that. And um, so you can basically make your own calendar with this, uh, with these uh, cut aparts. Um, so yeah, that was that. And the last uh, 12 by 12 pack that I got was this. This was part of their, um, I believe this was $3 as well for this pack. It doesn't say how many's in here, but these are the cut aparts. And then here's some sheets. Let's see what's in here. I'm, I'm inspecting this with you. Uh, at a certain point, I was like, all right, I think I'm just, I don't care anymore. All right, so these are double-sided. Two of two, one, two, one, Three, one, four, one, five. Oh, okay. So there's there's ten sheets in here. Two of each design, and uh, it doesn't say what the designs are, but this is the other side of this page, and there's some other colors in there which are very nice. I think I saw something like this and this. And uh, yeah, so those are the papers that I got. They also had some dies there and some, uh, they did have some stencils, but not, not the amount that I saw at the show. And my receipts are gonna go in there. Let me show you what I got. I'll show you my free gift later. So there's one of the dies that I got. This was $5 and I have these sentiments already, but these came, these are the sentiments with the shadow in the back. And so that's what they look like. And I really like that. So I got that. <laughs> I got this. This is for a slimline um, die cut. I don't make a lot of slimline cards, but I wanted it, so I got it. I think this one was $4. And um, I got that. And then I got this. I do make some mini slim lines with Alicia's uh, Call Me Crafty Owl sheet load of card series. So um, I thought this would be really cute. Here's the example for that one. And uh, because of this, I decided to pick up this one. So uh, this one was four, this one was four. And it has um, these dies in it. Uh, here's the here's the stencil set that I got. So for five dollars, this is a three-piece stencil, and this is the design that it makes. And you know, you guys know how much they're selling multiple layer stencils for. I thought this was a great deal. Uh, it's not a very intricate one, but it's done very well. There's loads of sayings, Merry Christmas, Joyful, uh, Peace and peace and something else, Peace and Noel, um, Season's Greetings, Merry Christmas. So it's got this image as well as those types of sentiments. And I just thought that was great. I already opened the package and these are, these are thick stencils. So, you know, uh, stick, stencils come in a variety of thicknesses and, and qualities, and these are really thick. So I'm wondering <clears throat> how those are going to work. I think they're going to work really well. This is some fine details, and you know with the fine details, something sometimes going over this with a sponge or a brush, these details can break off of some stencils. Um, but I think this is going to be okay. And they also gave a free gift. And this is the free gift that, that they gave. There was a, I could choose between two, uh, either paper, a pack, I think a pack of some sort of paper and two different stamps. And I chose this one. And I'm either going to send this to a friend or I am going to put it in a giveaway where I'm collecting lots and lots of goodies. So uh, then... Uh, then I, I left. I got some food. I went to eat in the car and I left and on my way home I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby because that's my tradition. Anytime I'm in New Jersey, <laughs> I gotta go to Hobby Lobby. 
So I went to Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna stack stuff on here. And here's what I got at Hobby Lobby. Uh, so Hobby Lobby has some uh, Tim Holtz slash Ranger products on sale <clears throat> and some other things. Let me show you, I got this first. This was 40% off. I just need some regular cardstock uh, for stamping and not necessarily coloring. Uh, I hope this works either way. I got the heavyweight one. This was $11.99 and 40% off. They had a lighter one that was not heavyweight for $9.99 for 100 sheets. So, so I hope that works out. Whether I hope it color on it or not, but I want to be able to stamp on it at the very least. So here's what I got. I didn't see any, <coughs> any um, stamp pads on sale. Uh, I got this. I paid regular price for this. It wasn't on sale. This is my favorite scotch glue. I am out of it, so I wanted to buy some more. Two ounces for $6. Not the best, but I'm seeing it for a lot more than that online on t in terms of price. It's my favorite, um, whatchamacallit, it's my favorite glue. So I got that. Uh, I got this. This was $5.99, I think. And, or 549 and uh, water-based stamp cleaner. I am running out of my Stampin' Up! stamp cleaner and I just wanted to give that a try to see if I liked it. And I got one of these. This was on clearance for $2.99. So it's a big emboss it, clear embossing stamp pad and I got that because, oops, so sorry. Number one, it was on clearance. And number two, I have one and um, I refilled it with non-Ranger ink. I don't know what brand it was, but it ate into my stamp pad. So, uh, and it's really mushy and if you stamp a stamp into it, it, uh, yeah, it comes off onto the stamp. So, so that's going to, I'm going to toss that. I'm going to use this for my stamping. And uh, here's some alcohol inks that were on clearance. I got some alcohol ink pearls. And I got some regular alcohol inks. Sorry. With these colors in it. I got some alloys and some foundry wax. What is foundry wax? I know what the alloys are for. They're what you can play with with alcohol inks, but are the foundry waxes the same? I don't know, but who cares? They were on clearance for $2.37. I was thrilled to get them, and I'm gonna be thrilled to play with them. And I also found, I found all of the colors of watercolor from Grumbacher. I was hoping to find the Windsor and Newton ones or the Cotman ones because I know others have been getting them. They're all on clearance and so I got 26 different colors of the watercolors and I picked through every single one. The whole thing uh, was on clearance and uh, there were uh, there were colors I did not get <laughs> Uh, like there was some grays that I did. There's a, a gray called Dave, Davy Gray, like Navy, but Davy Gray. And so I didn't get those. These were $1.37 each. And uh, I'm really excited to play with these. I hope that I get some good results with these or I like playing with them at the very least. And yeah, then I found this for $1.87 and I thought this was kind of fun. Oops, sorry. This is the Hero Arts Contour Ink. It's basically a light gray ink that they promoted um, you using for no line coloring techniques. This smooth, light toned hybrid ink is ideal for no line coloring techniques and general stamping applications. Works with alcohol markers, colored pencils, and watercolors. Dries permanently and quickly. 
waterproof for watercolors, very good raised pad surface. So this is a hybrid ink. Okay, still don't know what that means. Uh, then I bought some washi tape. Uh, I bought this kind of washi tape. This was on sale, $5.99. Uh, but 40% off, I guess. And uh, there's very little washi tape on these. You know? There's very little, but it's four yards according to this. But anyway, I thought it would be cute. It's honeybees and uh, honeycomb and that kind of colorway. So I got that. They took my money on that one, folks. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. That's my expo haul for the New Jersey Expo. I hope you got to attend an expo this year, or will get to attend an expo this year. Uh, if you're in the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania uh, area, definitely check out the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo the next time it comes back into town. Uh, you won't regret it. It is not packed with people, which is a good thing. You can crop for all four days or three days if you want to. And um, you get to buy some really cool things from some small business owners. And I have a great time every time I go every year. And maybe I'll see you next year. Thanks so much for stopping by everybody. And uh, leave a comment below because I love hearing for you, from you. Uh, click like, subscribe ring the bell, do all the things, and bye!